Whoa, what is up YouTube? It is about that time guys. Fall is here and I am super stoked. Not only because I love fall fishing, but I love hunting and I love everything about fall. These falling temperatures are sure to make the big smallmouth go on the tube and that's what we're gonna be chasing today. go ahead and we're going to start by throwing a bobber out with live bait we're just going to kind of drag that behind the boat so the bobber setup is the x factor guys this is the bait that you have dangling out the back of the boat all right guys so we just got our bobber rod set out right now we got it about 15 feet behind the boat that way I can still maneuver the boat without it getting messed up. Typically you'd like to have a rod holder, but I haven't installed my brand new monster rod holders yet. So we got a seat holder. That's what we're gonna work with. Be really nice if we had a little bit of wind today. It was actually supposed to be kind of windy today. I don't know what happened to the forecast. Wrong as usual. It is flat calm out here. Flat calm's not good. Not usually good for fishing. You want a little bit of, especially in these clear water lakes, you want a little bit of chop out here. Bobber's down, bobber's down, bobber's down. Here we go. All right, here we go. Let him have it for a second here. There we go. Fish on, guys. Fish on. Feels like a heavy fish. Of course I don't have my net out, because why would I do that? Why would I have a net out? Got the net ready. Let's see what we got going on here. Feels like a pretty decent fish. Oh yeah, beautiful smallmouth. Beautiful, beautiful smallie. beautiful fall tank oh there we go that is exactly what we're looking for today guys absolutely beautiful chunky fall smallmouth check out that fish guys absolutely gorgeous hook right in the top of the mouth beautiful go ahead and bump that one yes i know you're feisty in the fall i know you're an angry angry lady right now beautiful fish go ahead and get that one released they're feisty in cold water see you later baby now we're starting to get that wind. That wind is starting to come in here. That's what I was looking for. It's supposed to get really windy this afternoon, but I'm hoping we can just slam them when we have this moderate amount of wind. Got one going right here. Got one going. Let's see what we got. There we go. Fish on. Fish on. Yeah, buddy. God, I love fall smallmouth fishing. I mean, there is just no other time of the year, maybe spring, but nothing is quite like the fall feed bag and how these fish want to eat i mean it is truly incredible <clears throat> and it's amazing the size the size is incredible guys i mean when you can pull an average of 18 19 inch fish it just doesn't get much better than that look at that fish that is an absolute beautiful beautiful smallie i mean it's a tank crazy and you'll see these this is actually down in the weeds you have scattered rock in these weeds right here those green kind of coontail weeds man is that a blast it is certainly fall and their uh their bellies are showing it definitely fall go ahead and get you back in the water what i really want to try to do in these videos is give you guys a good sense of confidence that you can go out and do the exact same things that i'm doing when i'm fishing so let's talk a little bit more about my bobber setup so that way you kind of know exactly what you need to do now when it comes to your rod you want to use any kind of rod that has a good flexible tip this can be anywhere from a medium to a uh, medium light and what you want to do is you want to either have a uh, fast or a moderate fast or even down to a moderate so you want flex in the blank is basically what i'm saying and there's a lot of rods in the market that can provide that flex you're not going to use the same rod that you're going to use say for a tube rod more like a crankbait rod would probably be the best description and when it comes to your reel here i have a carbon x 3000 a 2000 will work just as well and you can also even set up a bobber rod on a casting setup if you want to in my opinion spinning is more fun i like hearing the drag when they fight so that's why i use it uh, when it comes down to your line you can do it a couple different ways you can run braid you can run mono or you can run fluoro on a bobber rod setup i tend to like mono to give it a little bit of stretch on the hook set now basically when it comes down to your setup you can use either a small ewg hook like this 
or you can use a circle style hook, which I'll show you on my other setup here in just a moment. What I like to do is use probably a medium sized bobber and I've got it rigged up with a couple of split shots to get that sucker down on the bottom. And then all you do is set up a slip, right? So it's a slip setup, slip bobber, so you can adjust your depth depending on the area that you're fishing. Today, I'm fishing anywhere from 15 feet out to 25 feet. So as I change areas, I'll go ahead and I'll move that slip stop just to make sure I'm in the right depth. Now, let's talk about the bait that I'm dragging and what that setup looks like. Now, when it comes to the setup that I'm dragging a sucker on, the same thing can be said in terms of the type of rod or the type of action you wanna have. Again, you wanna have either that moderate fast, moderate, you can get away with fast, but you want that really soft tip because you wanna be able to load that rod up when you get the bite. You'll notice in this video, a lot of times what I do is I let the fish have it for a couple seconds because some of these suckers are pretty big. We're using up to six inch suckers. So you want that fish to have a moment to get it. The beautiful thing about this little hook right here, this circle hook, is that when the fish bites it, the hook hits the edge of their mouth and it rotates. And what that does is it rotates the hook right into the corner of their mouth or the top of their mouth. Very, very rarely will you ever have a fish that gets throat hooked or gut hooked when using a circle hook. So I start with a circle hook, then I usually run a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader and that will then come up to a bullet weight. Now the bullet weight, again, depends on the depth that you're fishing. If you're fishing shallower, you can probably get away with a quarter ounce. Like I said, I'm fishing 15 to 25 feet, so a half ounce is much better for me. Now I've just got a 15 pound main braid on here. You can use fluorocarbon. I like the braid because I can feel what that weight is hitting down in the bottom. I can really feel those rocks. I can feel when it gets hung up in weeds. Um, so that's very important to me. Again, you want a nice lightweight spinning reel. I've got a Carbon X2000 on here, and uh, this specific rod is a prototype from PC Fun that I've been testing for the last few months, and those will be coming out in spring. I will show you more in the near future on those rods. That's my setup, guys. That's what I'm doing. That's basically how you go out and you catch these big fall smallmouth. If you want to run a tube, you can. You can run spoons. You can run blade baits. Um, but generally, your most effective way to catch your biggest fish is going to be dragging a sucker. And I'll tell you what, I was for a very long Long time I was an artificial only guy um, until my buddy Jason Drew turned me on to this bite and I'll tell you what guys it's hard to keep a sucker rod out of my hand in the fall at this point because it's just such a fun way to fish and the cool thing is you also get bonus fish you might get a big pike you might get a muskie you might get uh, a big walleye I mean you just never know what you're gonna catch on these suckers so it makes it a ton of fun let's get back to fishing all right we got a bobber down guys bobber down fish on bobber down fish on he was kind of playing with it swam towards the boat Feels like a pretty good fish though. Giant smallmouth, just a giant. Come on, baby. He's spitting out all kinds of suckers. Oh, come on, baby, yes. Oh man, look at that monster. Absolutely unreal. What a giant. Look at that fish, guys. Just a monster, monster. Huge fall belly, absolutely giant smallmouth. See you later, big girl. Oh, guys, we got a double going here. I'm gonna see if I can make this work. All right. I've got two fish hooked up at once. So, let's see if I can make this happen here. Two smallies going. Uh, if you guys can see that, but there's two of them right here. So I'm gonna try to get them both netted without causing too much of a mess. There's a double, solo double. One and two, solo double right there, guys. Doubled up on bronze backs. Check that one out. Absolutely unbelievable. Well, guys, there you have it. That's a solo double. We're gonna go ahead and get rid of both of these guys right now. There's one. And there's two. Solo doubles, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Power's down again. There we go, guys. Fish on. Fish on on the bobber rod. This is why you want to have multiple rods, guys. When you have multiple rods while you're out here, you're going to be able to do a lot more. This spot lock is a lifesaver, guys, especially when you're fishing this way. But having multiple, multiple setups in the water is going to greatly increase your chances of catching these fish. Another giant. 
Well guys, I think that's gonna wrap it up for today. That fish just came unhooked. That's gonna wrap it up for today. Thank you guys for tuning in to another awesome episode here on the PC Fund YouTube channel. What an amazing day of catching big, beautiful smallies. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, make sure to drop me a comment below. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys on the next one.